if you for number one right in the northern hemisphere the Coriolis effect causes things to bend to the right Isn't that what I just said yeah to the right and in the southern hemisphere it causes it to curve to the left so if you don't have um, if you can't print this paper just write those two sentences out uh, in your journal or something like that then or you can actually just type it in there the next part you will have to do in your in your journal so right so it has basically these arrows here uh, I'll just quickly kind of copy this if you didn't right if you don't have and all right so in the northern hemisphere it's going to cause things to curve to the right so that means that this is going to end up getting curved to the right something like that and here's the tricky part right if it's down if it's pointed down it's best to just flip your paper over and then curve it to the right like so um right southern hemisphere that's going to do uh the opposite that curves to the left so in this case it would curve to the left like so and this one again best to turn your paper upside down and curve it to the left like so so um so there we go that's that part done so the next moving on to the next part it says if you can print it out then do that if you can't um then we're going to need to copy this onto our own paper so kind of as before find something that is circular that you can kind of trace yourself a nice circle so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to use this lid here to make my circle maybe it would have been nice to have something a little bit bigger but that's what i got um and then i'm going to go ahead and put in uh the 0 30 60 and 90 that's on there so i got my my zero my So this would be uh, 30 degrees south, 60 degrees south, 90 is of course down here, and 90, and 30 degrees north. So, um, so now I've pretty much kind of copied this drawing right there, so we got that. So <clears throat> the first thing it says is uh, using a pencil lightly draw the direction of the Hadley cells to make the wind blow. So again, this should probably be done in your journal. And so we know that the Hadley cells are going to be going, right? We did this in the warm up. We know that they're going to be going south in this direct region, north in this region. Just this is stuff from, I'm just drawing the arrows from the warm up that we just did, right? North in this region, South in this region, north, and this would be south. You'd have to look at the drawings. We didn't talk about the polar cells, which would be these guys and these guys, but uh, if you look at the diagram, it should be pretty clear. Uh, so now I just need to go ahead and apply, all right, the second thing. It says, now draw darker lines showing how the wind would blow, or bend as a result of the Coriolis effect. So um, now take either draw, use your pencil, but use it, draw darker. Um, but we want to go ahead and apply the Coriolis effect. So remember this things down here, curve to the left, things up here, curve to the right. So for the ones that are pointing up, that's really easy. I'm going to curve these, curve these to the left. Right, these curve to the left as well. 